A girl who had done the most selfless thing a person could do, become a surrogate mother, notices that her belly is growing abnormally. When she goes for an ultrasound, what the doctors find inside her belly leaves everyone in shock. Jordana, with her huge belly, felt every movement like a wave of discomfort. In the ultrasound room, lying on the gurney and just waiting for the scan to begin, anxiety consumed her. It must be a very big baby, she thought, to be kicking like that, trying to console herself. But deep down, she knew that something was out of the ordinary. Her belly had grown abnormally, much more than a normal pregnancy, and the pain was intense and constant. Then the doctor came in to greet her and tried to reassure the girl. Let's see how the baby is, okay? Don't worry, it's probably nothing. Many women experience various changes in their bodies, but we can't be terrified, can we? Said the doctor, preparing the ultrasound equipment. Jordana felt the cold gel in her belly and looked at the screen, expecting to see the image of a healthy baby, even though she didn't understand anything she saw. However, what should have been a moment of joy quickly turned into tension. As the examination continued, the obstetrician's expression changed. His face, normally calm and tranquil, now showed a mixture of surprise and concern. My God, that, that can't be, he muttered quietly, lost in his reflections and analysis, his eyes fixed on the screen. The girl, frightened, asked, What's going on? Is something wrong with the baby? Her voice was filled with fear and confusion. The doctor, without answering, pressed a button. I need more opinions here he said, clearly shaken and getting up to call someone. As the nurses and other doctors began to enter the room, the suspense and tension grew. They crowded around the screen and their expressions of disbelief increased the poor girl's fear even more. I can't believe it. That's why her belly is so big. It's impossible. Commented a nurse, covering her mouth with her hands. Jordana, now panicked, tried to understand. Please, someone tell me what's going on. She begged, almost with tears in her eyes but her words seemed to fall on deaf ears. The medical team talked in hushed tones, exchanging information and assumptions about how it had happened. With each new expression of shock, the woman's heart beat faster. Finally, the obstetrician turned to Jordana with a serious expression. Jordana, well, there's something very unusual here, he said, choosing his words carefully. We need to do some tests to confirm it, because in your case, it's something serious. The room was full of tension, and the poor pregnant woman felt every second of tension. But what was going on? What did the doctors see in the ultrasound that had made them so terrified? To understand the situation, we need to go back some time. Jordana, a 24-year-old young woman full of energy and compassion, made a decision that would change not only her life forever, but that of an entire family, to become a surrogate. She grew up in a modest environment, where she learned to value hard work and the importance of helping others. When the opportunity arose, she saw it not only as a way of improving her financial situation since the couple were offering a good reward for the selfless act, but also as a means of accomplishing something priceless, making two people become parents. The idea of becoming a surrogate came to her after she met a woman in her community who had gone through the experience. Seeing the joy she brought to a family struggling with infertility Jordana felt inspired. I could do that. I could make a difference in someone's life. She thought, thrilled at the possibility. When she met the Smith couple interested in her services, she immediately felt a connection. They were successful people, but more than that, they had a warmth and sincerity that touched her deeply. The two shared their struggles and dreams with the girl, and she knew she wanted to help them realize their dream of having a family of their own. The process of becoming a surrogate was extensive and thorough. Jordana underwent countless tests and medical consultations, each one bringing her closer to making the couple's dream come true. Despite the challenges and the invasive nature of some procedures, the young woman remained firm in her decision. Driven by the idea of giving birth to a baby, and also by the money that would go a long way to rebuilding her life. She had just lost her grandparents, who were very old, and since she didn't know her parents or siblings, she now had to fend for herself. That's why this money was going to change everything for her. On the day of the insemination, Jordana felt a mixture of nervousness and excitement. As she prepared for the procedure, 
She thought about the child she would help bring into the world and the happiness it would bring to the couple. Tears of joy and anticipation welled up in her eyes. We're ready to start, Jordana. Are you ready? Asked the doctor, offering an encouraging smile. Yes, I'm ready. More than ready. She replied, her voice firm and full of emotion. The procedure went smoothly, and she felt relieved when it was over. As she got up from the stretcher, a wave of emotion came over her, because now it was real. It was the start of a journey that she knew would be challenging, but also incredibly rewarding. She was fully aware that the coming months would be full of transformations and discoveries. Above all, however, she now had a deep sense of purpose. She was on the road to fulfilling the Smith's dream, and that filled her with immense joy. So for the first few months of her pregnancy, everything seemed to be going well for the girl. She had regular checkups and took the utmost care of herself, knowing that she was carrying a precious life. The couple, anxious and emotional, tried to follow every stage of the pregnancy, expressing their gratitude and affection for Jordana at every meeting. But as time went by, she began to notice something unusual. She felt strange twinges, different from the normal pains of pregnancy. At first, she tried to ignore it, thinking that maybe it was just a normal part of the process. Maybe it's just the body adjusting itself, she concluded, trying not to worry. The young woman continued with her daily routine, working as a telemarketer. It was a job that demanded a lot from her, especially now that she was pregnant. But she remained strong, focused on her baby's well-being and the financial rewards it would bring. However, the pain intensified over the months, and Jordana noticed that her belly began to grow at an alarming rate. In just three or four months, it seemed that she had gained much more weight than expected for a normal pregnancy. What's going on? She asked herself, looking at her overly large belly. Worry began to take over, a feeling that something wasn't right. Jordana considered telling the couple about the pain and the abnormal growth of her belly, but fear paralyzed her. She feared that there was something wrong with the baby, and that if she said anything, she could lose the money she so desperately needed. The responsibility of carrying someone else's child was great, and the thought of disappointing them terrified her. But before we continue with the story, we want to know, if you were in this poor young woman's shoes, what would you do? Let us know in the comments. Now, back to the story. Every day when she went to bed at night, she tried to find a comfortable position but the pain and anxiety kept her awake. What if I'm putting the baby in danger? What if I can't keep my end of the bargain? These thoughts haunted the girl, filling her with doubts and fears. And so, a few more months passed. She didn't see the Smiths that often, after all, it was only necessary for exams. Apart from that, she lived her normal life, so they didn't find the size of her belly strange. It was normal at the moment, although a little bigger for a five-month pregnancy. But as the pregnancy progressed, it was very strange how the girl's belly grew at a rate she would never have imagined possible. It became difficult to hide her abnormal size, which attracted stares and comments wherever Jordana went. At work, her colleagues watched with surprise and concern, whispering among themselves. The situation was becoming unbearable, and she was finding it increasingly difficult to carry out her daily tasks. What the hell is inside my belly? She asked herself her anxiety growing with each passing day, because it wasn't possible that it was just a baby. Jordana began to hear about insemination cases where gangs of traffickers injected microchips and then stole the child from the mother or other such atrocities. She started to get so worried that she knew it was time to face reality, no matter how scary it might be. So, determined to get answers, the pregnant woman scheduled an ultrasound on her own, without the Smith's knowledge because whatever the discovery, she wanted to know what she was going to do first. On the day of her appointment, the young woman was visibly nervous, feeling every movement inside her with a mixture of fear and curiosity. As she made her way to the clinic, frantic thoughts invaded her mind. What if it's something serious? What if there's something wrong with the baby? Or worse, what if they've actually put something else inside me? The poor girl was terrified. It got even worse when in the ultrasound room, the look on the doctor's face turned from concentration to sheer disbelief. Jordana's eyes were fixed on the screen, trying to decipher the blurred images that appeared. He muttered, petrified. That, that can't be. 
His tone revealed a mixture of shock and disbelief. The girl, increasingly agitated, demanded to know what was going on. Please tell me what's wrong. But nobody said anything to her. Not even after the entire medical team came in and analyzed the images. So, after a few minutes that seemed like an eternity to her, the obstetrician finally turned to the girl and said, Jordana, well, there's something very unusual here. He said, choosing his words carefully. We need to do some tests to confirm it, because in your case, which is surrogacy, it's something serious. What is it? Is there something wrong with the baby? Asked the poor girl, almost crying. No, no, there's nothing wrong with him. But, Jordana, you're not pregnant with just one baby. The doctor paused. You're pregnant with four babies. The words echoed in the room like thunder. The young woman felt the ground disappear beneath her feet. Four? Four babies? How is that possible? No, that can't be happening. The doctors continued the examination, confirming the incredible discovery. Jordana, completely stunned, could barely process the news. She was carrying four lives inside her, a reality she had never imagined possible. Four? I'm going to have four babies? She whispered, her mind spinning with the implications of this revelation. She thought of the couple who had hired her services. They only wanted one child. What will they do now? The worries piled up, each one scarier than the last. The girl was overwhelmed by a wave of conflicting emotions. The doctor explained that during the artificial insemination procedure, several eggs were fertilized to increase the chances of pregnancy. Normally, only one of these eggs thrives, but in her case, something extraordinary happened. Four of them developed. It was a rare, almost miraculous event, but one that now placed Jordana in an incredibly complex situation. The poor girl went home in a daze, thinking frantically about the Smiths. What if they don't want the other three babies? How am I going to support three children? Worry consumed the girl. She could barely support herself, and the thought of raising three babies on her own was terrifying. They're going to hate me, she thought. They just wanted just one baby, and now there are three? But she knew she couldn't hide the truth any longer. She had to tell them, even though she feared their reaction. With a knot in her stomach, Jordana called the couple and arranged a meeting. Words were hard to come out, and the poor thing had tears in her eyes from despair. I... I have something important to say. She began, her voice shaking. I'm not pregnant with just one baby. I'm pregnant with four. The couple looked at the girl, at first not understanding, and then with a mixture of surprise and incredulity. Four? Repeated the mother-to-be, her voice full of astonishment. The girl nodded and tears began to fall, expecting the worst news. But the Smith's reaction was completely different from what she had feared. After the initial shock, they looked at each other, and a slow smile began to form on their faces. That's incredible, said the father-to-be, thrilled, looking at his wife. Four babies, love. We're going to have four babies. The girl, still incredulous, watched as the two of them discussed their future with four children about buying more cribs and more clothes. They weren't angry, they were happy, thrilled with the news. You've given us a greater gift than we could have imagined, said the woman, hugging the girl. My God, I can't believe I'm going to be the mother of four babies. For Jordana, knowing that the Smiths had happily accepted the prospect of having four children was more than a relief, it was an unexpected blessing. They could afford to take care of the children, and Jordana's worries about the future of the babies dissipated like mist in the sun. You'll earn four times as much, announced the man, a broad smile lighting up his face. The girl was incredulous, because this meant that she would receive $800,000, a sum that would completely change her life. She could hardly believe the turn her life had taken. Then, finally, the big day arrived. Jordana went into labor, and the couple were by her side, holding her hands, offering words of encouragement. After hours in hospital, the babies were born. Four little lives, each crying vigorously as they entered the world. Seeing those little beings, healthy and alive, was a moment of pure magic and emotion for everyone in the room. The girl, exhausted but immensely happy, looked at the children she had helped bring into the world and felt an indescribable sense of fulfillment and joy. The couple, now parents to four babies, couldn't take their eyes off their children. They thanked Jordana over and over again, promising that she would always have a special place in their lives 
and in the lives of their babies. After the birth of the quadruplets, that girl's life entered a new journey. The Smiths, recognizing the special connection and deep bond Jordana had formed with the children during her pregnancy, made a special request of her, to be the boy's godmother. For her, it was an honor and a joy. She accepted without hesitation, thrilled to continue being part of the lives of these extraordinary children. Over time, the girl became more than just a godmother. She was a dear family friend and a kind of aunt to the babies. She attended birthdays, parties, and many other important events. The four little boys adored her, and she delighted in every moment she spent with them. With the financial reward she received, she was also able to rebuild her life. She invested in her education and opened a clothing store, as had always been her dream. Years later, Jordana married and had children of her own, who grew up being close friends with her godchildren. The family spent weekends together, organizing picnics and trips, creating a community of love and support. The quadruplets, each with their own personalities and talents, grew up knowing the special story of how they came into the world. They saw Aunt Jordana not only as their godmother, but also as a symbol of kindness and sacrifice. She had given them the gift of life, and in return, they had given her a purpose and an extended family. And so the story of that girl who was a surrogate showed that this altruistic act is more than proof of the power of love, friendship, and family. Not just defined by blood, but by the heart. It's a reminder that sometimes the most unexpected paths can lead to life's greatest joys. And if you like this story, I'm sure the next video that pops up on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you in the next heartwarming story.